I just want to say a quick disclaimer. Everything in this video belongs to me. Do not claim this video. Do not try and use my content. Do not try and use my characters or claim any of my work as your own. This video is going on YouTube and thus it will be archived and thus you can't fucking steal my shit. Anyway, that's actually a reason why I don't upload my fursuits onto YouTube because there's so much fucking theft. Even going to like uh, conventions and stuff, I'm just like, are people going to try and steal my shit? Just take an image and then just try and steal it. Uh, I wanted to give a little rant on why you should not refurbish your old fursuits. So, my first head, I shouldn't even show her yet. Um, I finished her, like, months ago. Um, she was made in May 2016 in, like, less than a week. You don't talk about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had gotten $100, and, um, that was my budget for my birthday. So, I was like, I'm gonna make a fursuit, and then I didn't realize how hard it was. And it just... I glued pins <laughs> I glued sewing pins. If you don't know what sewing pins look like, these ones actually have bulbs on the end for colors. But imagine there's no bulb and it's just this gray thing with like a flat top, like almost like a tiny nail. Imagine that. <laughs> In the whole entire top of the first, just every, every bit of the first suit just has those glued into it. When you tried to wear her, your face would just get impaled. I want to slap myself from back then, but, um, she also had a, she, she had a, uh, bucket, she's, she's still built on a bucket, because whenever I ripped everything apart, uh, the only thing that was left was the bucket itself, and the flat top, I think the flat top was left, pretty sure, um, yeah, it was. I had to rip off the cheeks. I had to rip off the ears. What was remaining of the nose bridge. I basically had to start off with the face totally open and the bucket and then the top. That was it. I had to start from scratch, basically. It was not fun. And then her giant ears, I actually made ages before. And I was like, okay, the uh, first suit that I'm gonna make, I don't have the materials to make him, so I'm just gonna hold back, and why don't I just use those ears on her? Now, these ears are three inches thick. They be big ears. Don't do this. Uh, they're both the exact same, and I had to weight them to get them so it's not as heavy, but I'm so used to, like, heavy heads, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Um, whenever I made her horns, originally she had horns, um, this head is old, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm done making second heads for characters, unless it's, like, their head's not able to be refurbished, which I actually have refurbished my, um, fourth head, fifth, first, fourth, fifth. I tried doing my second, but I ended up destroying her. Um, and then my uh, pony head got turned into a Dutch angel. Oh, and my um, demon Welsh Corgi, he got refurbished into Lolly Bird, who is a uh, dragon. Um, she, he, he, she, it, him, whatever. They're not really an angel dragon it's just a dragon um now this girl ow don't hit me um yeah there's a lot wrong and i know the eyes are very deep but um i refer i did the foam work sometime last year um when i was still using the deep eyes um i don't do that anymore but of course I find a pin. Your curse. Um, excuse me. But, um, basically, whenever you refurbish a head, you have to get all the fur off. 
Now, if you're just replacing patches of fur, that's a whole different story. I say go ahead. If you're going to rip apart the foam and change, like, the basic facial structure, uh, I, I don't recommend it. I think it's just easier to get a new head. If, if you didn't make it and you want to ask your maker, go for it. But if you're making a fursuit, this head's only two years old. It'll be two, exactly two next month. Um, which isn't that bad. She hasn't fallen apart since I did the refurb. Even without the refurb, she wasn't really falling apart. And even the little things that were kind of breaking and falling were from how I originally made her. Your first head is going to fall apart after a while because it's your first and you're just getting started. Um, with foam at least. Now, with her, um, just recently, actually, like, a month or so, I actually changed up her design. But the thing is, it does not work with this head. This head is meant for cute, fluffy, chibi, whatever interactions. The species that she is, I, I'd rather keep it private, um, is actually vicious as shit. And my character Moonglow actually is, he needs his teeth and he needs to look more violent. Uh, that's what, uh, so he's, he's actually pretty accurate. But with her, I've tried adding teeth. I've tried adding the hair. It just does not fit. Especially, uh, she is a bucket. I don't use the bucket technique anymore. She, you, she's a flat top. With her, I actually couldn't shave the back because I wanted it to look a little bit fluffy. Because if you just look at her from the front, you can see how flat the top is. Now, because I am edgy and I just don't feel like it, I'm not brushing. Screw you. Also, uh, if you're wondering what this big sparkly thing is, I took that to Teco. That and my other bodysuit. Um... So, yeah, that, that was fun. They're both drying. If you're going to dry a bodysuit, um, and if you run into the washer, and the washer squeezes out all the water, hang it up over something. Do not just throw it on a table to dry. You want, you want it to get air. Now, with this, with both of them, I had to brush them out. They looked horrifying. Also, I put my digigrade one, I took the padding out, of course, and washed them all separate. I actually put it on hot wash, which means I could have damaged the fur, which scared the shit out of me. Anyway, I might as well put her on. Also, fun fact, she actually took me two years to line, because I didn't know how originally, and then I realized how, and then I'm like, that's a lot of work. Uh, to line my fursuits with, I have two methods. One is just, I'll, uh, if I have a lot, that makes it easier. And then the second way is I use scraps. Not fun. I used to think that you could do silk. So I cut up a silk shirt and I was like, I don't know how to do this. And it's, uh, don't ask. Um, her, I haven't put her on in a while. <sighs> she is like Jesus, did my glasses like get bigger or something? Yeah, I know. So scary. My eyes can come out. Ooh. Um the thing is, no, my commission suit will not have this problem. With, like, spandex or, like, eye issues. Like I said, this girl's outdated. Like, very outdated. Even for refurbished work. Uh, also, fun fact, this isn't white fur. This is cream. Fuck you, Joanne. Fuck, fuck you, Joanne. Oh, I hope that's the thumbnail. That'd be great. <laughs> um... 
But uh, believe it or not, this head's actually very heavy once you wear it for the first time. She weighs a ton. The ears, originally, whenever I made her, I was falling over. Even with them, like, weighted. These things are heavy. She is a very heavy fursuit to wear. She's not easy. And even though I refurbished her and everything, you, you don't get much air. Originally, her jaw was like this. You got no air whatsoever. For the bucket, basically, here you have the circle for the bucket. You had no room. You had the muzzle and the jaw taken up to that whole circle. Um, she does have follow me eyes. That's why I actually used to do eyes this deep. Because they do have a nice follow. And yeah, it does give a little bit of issues with seeing. But you know what? You deal with it after a while. You just gotta, if, if you have old work and the eyes are very deep and you can fix it. Uh, I mean, if it's really an issue, pull the eyes and make new ones that are less, like, more shallow into the socket. But if you, if the eyes right here are fine, leave it. Seriously, old heads. Now, fixing it up with, um, how should I say it? Making repairs, like if you get a seam rip on the neck or something, fix it. But if it's like you want to redo the whole facial structure, you might, you're might you better off doing a new head altogether. You're going to waste so much foam. Ow. I just impaled my friggin' nose. You're going to... You really want to be putting new foam on old foam to get a different shape. Because you're going to have to cut off so much just to get a new shape. And what if that old foam starts to collapse? What if that old foam is so old and it starts to warp? Well, you're going to have to rip off all that new fur, rip the old foam, replace it. That's why I'm saying it is so much better to just do a new head. Now, in my cases, I couldn't, because I just couldn't. Don't, don't ask. Um, which, yeah, I, I like my refurbished heads, but with, uh, Puff, who originally was Moonglow, if you look at my Anthrocom videos, you'll see, um, that head, refurbishing it, it looks horrifying. I have photos on Facebook, but... I don't feel like making them public. So, eh, maybe DeviantArt eventually. I don't know. Um, but it was, uh, it was so bad. Um, but don't refurbish old heads unless you are guaranteed that you are going to, like, if it's a small thing, like, you just want to, I don't know, like, make the jaw a little bit different shaped, or if you want to give them, like, smile lines or whatever do it but i'm just saying if you want to refurbish the whole thing i mean yeah i i've done it before on multiple heads but in the long run the time that you put you spend more time refurbishing than you ever will just sculpting a new head because you have to work on old friggin like old methods you have to use the old methods, even if you hate them, like I do. And then you have to just deal with it. With this head, like I said, it's, I don't like buckets. They annoy me. I don't like it. But, um, if you really, really want to, be prepared. And just really, really be sure. Because, uh, it is not fun. Also, tip of advice, if your head is lined and the liner is glued inside and you only want to, like, change the muzzle or something, 
instead of ripping off the muzzle, like I did with Lolly Bird, this is what I did. Instead of ripping off the old muzzle, build on to that, because if you have it lined inside, it'll make your life so much easier. Because trust me, lining heads is not fun. It takes hours. Um, but yeah, this is this was my first head that I refurbished. Am I happy with the refurbishment? I don't know. I'm not in love with the character as much as I used to be, but... I mean, I'm not going to sell my characters or whatever. They're my characters regardless. It's just maybe one day she'll get a suit with proper anatomy. I don't know. Would I refurbish this head? It's like the case with my um, wyvern Emilu, who has a second head, which the shape isn't my favorite, but she has very nice ventilation and vision, whereas the old head... Even though I did refurbish it and fix the muzzle and I tried fixing the ears so they would be a little bit more back because she's heavy. And then she, the jaw, even with the new muzzle, you barely get any air and it just, it, it's hard. Making a fursuit is not easy, uh, especially in the long run because you just, you, you have to be sure you want to do it. You have to know what character you want. Please don't take... A old suit in blah blah blah. An old suit of yours, and then try and make it into a new suit. Just make, just get your foam and make a new head. You can make a head. You you can make a muzzle and a jaw, and eyes out of scratch. Just make sure you have a solid base. Do not make a base out of scrap. You will regret it so much. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening to my little rant. I'm sorry it. Uh, lasted this long, but I really just wanted to get the point across. Um, with Anthrocon, I will be there all four days. Um, and I have no idea, like, anything that I'm doing there. <laughs> uh, I might be bringing a, I might be bringing my Norn suit, and then I might be bringing, like, uh, I might bring Puff. Just so I can bring them to the Dutch Angel Dragon meet. Or Angel Dragon, whatever. Mm, I love the Angel Dragons, they're amazing. Um, I might even bring Maple, I just, I don't know. It depends on, uh, ventilation. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Also, for anyone I saw at Teco, hi! Um, <laughs> I enjoyed Teco after all the chaos died down. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope everybody has a nice day. Bye!